Hey guys, Magic here. Welcome back to another video where today we are back on NBA 2K12 Part 2. Today we are going to be playing in our game. So basically, if you guys watched the first video, if you haven't, I'll explain here. Basically, we just went over the rosters. I said what teams I wanted to go to and I made my player. Now this game is a little bit different on my player than it was in NBA 2K11. Let me explain. So in the last game, we had three games to prove to teams who we wanted to go to in the draft. This time we only get one and we get interviews. So teams that want to draft us are going to interview us. And hopefully I guys, honestly, I just hope I go to a good team. That's all I want is to go to a good team and to play on a good team with a superstar. That's all I want. So without further ado, we're going to go into this game and you know, we get one chance. So we're going to have to play the best we can. Now my player isn't as great. So what I'm going to do is hopefully rely on my teammates to get me those assists. Look for those fast breaks as usual. And also for y'all noticing I can't actually change anything in my player. I just have to play it. Um, I'm hoping after this game, once I get drafted and it shows like, me like where I was last time, my homepage, I can change the difficulty to all-star. It's still going to be all-star, but let's just see what happens. So we're going to load in and hopefully we're going to have a good game. Welcome everyone as we get our first look at the future of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan and as always, I'm joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Today, we're going to get a chance to watch the top prospects in the draft battle it out here in the Rookie Showcase. All the stars of the past March tournament on display here, and no doubt everyone on the floor will be looking to make an impact and turn some heads. You know, all the focus won't be on the guards, as there are some very intriguing big men looking to up their draft stock. Should be fun. So let's take a look at the State Farm starting lineup for the stars. Davis is out there with Foster, and it's Brown in at the five. Roman the paint. And for the elites, big dog, he's in at point guard. He's out there with Turner, and it's Gibson in at the center. All right, I think I fixed all the audio stuff, and we should be good to go. Game one for us. And here we go. Let's hopefully have a good game. Looking for good passes. Get good teammate grades. Good teammate grades. Oh, right. That guy right there. Yep. Also, if we, I think if we win this game, it'll be better too. Okay, somebody please give me an assist. There we go. Somebody got something. Like I said, I haven't been able to like edit any of the stuff in the my player thing. So like I'm literally just playing the game. Oh, almost made that one. Oh, I missed some minus five skill points. Oh, okay, so that's new. Okay, our guys kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. Our guys are freaking trash. A foul on me. Okay, I don't like the call, but whatever. All right, nine to five. I have not been able to really do too much here. That's our guy number 40. Hopefully, oh, what a shot. Oh my gosh, get an assist for me. Let's go. That's what we're going to rely on to get our teammate grade up is good passes and assists. There we go. Got a steal there. Oh, number 13. Ooh, dang, McDaniel. All right. Can we get a shot off? Okay. No, we cannot. We suck. Okay. I don't really like my shot. I'm going to be honest with you. And another foul. All right. It's like the NBA Finals all over again. Yeah, not going to lie. I don't really like my shot right now i thought it was the same as it was but apparently it's not so we're gonna have to change it after this game okay we're gonna get simmed out here okay done okay we haven't done bad uh although we're losing still we're at c plus though so oh and back we're violation let's go all right yeah like i said guys i'm not i'm probably not gonna be doing as good in this game i'm just trying to be like the all-around teammate just try to at least do something Oh, we make that one in, though. Let's go. Nice little two points. All right, all right. First bucket on NBA 2K12. We like it. Hey, you know what? 24-21, not too bad. You know, I got an assist in two points. I'll take it because my player isn't as good. So we'll take it for now. Okay, got to find a big man. Maybe uh, number 45. Patterson, assist. There we go. We get an assist. Good job, Patterson. And Patterson makes it in. All right, he's kind of killing it. Oh, there we go. Good shot defense. All right, we're up to a B minus one. Just post up and shoot. Okay, or suck. You know, you can do that too. And another foul. Have y'all called like any fouls on our team? Like, or on the other team? Like at all? All right, up to a B minus so far. Not doing bad. Like I said, I'm trying to be like that good player, like to where I'm not like shooting like crazy because I know my player cannot shoot like crazy. Also, I'm uncomfortable with my jump shot right now. 
So it's really just passing out to the teammates, having good ball movement, playing good defense, all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Why would you set into the inside like that? That's so dumb. And almost made that one. I was so close. And I get blocked out by number two, but we at least get it in there. 32-28. There we go. We make another in there. Let's go. I see, like, the bottom of my player, like, kind of light up. I don't know if that's suggesting, like, the new shooting meter. But I let it go as soon as it started blinking, and we made it in. Assist? Ah. Uh, pass leading the foul, though. We'll take it. We'll take it. Team is kind of getting cooked right now. I'm not going to lie. All right, come on, Patterson. Just make these in there we go you've been kind of the star of our team there we go making it in there all right come on if we can get to like a b plus maybe even a minus like that'd be sick yeah i was wide open and my teammates did not want to pass to me so that's pretty cool and another foul good shot defense on me so i'll take it there we go misses that one they've been getting a ton of free throws this game <laughs> out of bounds <laughs> get out of here scrub Oh, and we make it in. Let's go. Maybe we should trust in the shot a bit more. Oh, I almost made that one in a bad way. I'm wide open, dude. They've been calling like a lot of fouls on us. I think we're up to now like six fouls since I've been in. Oh, no halftime show. All right. All right. All right. So we're going in six points, two assists. Okay. Oh, our draft stock is rising. Ooh, okay. So our, our scoring is good. Passing is good. Defense needs to be better, obviously. Turnovers, yeah, we're going to get that down. So overall, three-star recruit pretty much. Okay. So overall, we're playing quite well, apparently. Our stock has rose a little bit. We like to see that. If we can get to, like, being a four-star recruit, like, I think that's pretty good. So we need to step up on defense, obviously. Uh, obviously, defense is not really in my strong suit. Oh, assist? Oh my gosh, that literally went in and out of the basket. That sucks. Kind of a struggle so far, not gonna lie. I've been trying to give McDaniel chances, and he just can't make a bucket. Okay, that was, yeah, McDaniel is trash. He has the worst court vision. Literally wide open in front of him, and that got swatted away. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't try any of those passes. Cool. And I missed. Right, at least I got a good shot off. And he gets blocked because he sucks. All right. I had to at least put something up, dude. And Patterson can't block. We're calling a timeout. It's been really bad so far. McDaniel is our worst player. He cannot shoot, can't pass. He literally reminds me of Reggie. I was, like, wide open for a shot, and he just threw it to another guy that was double guarded. I'm the best, man. Like, I know I'm not going to be great just because overall, and also I'm a little rusty. I'm not going to lie. Shot to stop the run. Oh, we make a three to stop the run. Good freaking stuff, dude. Let's go. I'm actually starting to get used to that jump shot. Like, I'm getting the timing down. No! There's no freaking way. You're such a scrub. Nope. Give me that back. Had an open look. Good shot. We'll take it. Oh, we get a fast break. Come on. Are you freaking kidding me this game? Oh, I finally get a fast break in this freaking scrub out of nowhere. Oh, Gibson. Dude, how do you miss such an easy shot? Just slam it down, dude. You're so bad. Oh my gosh, I can have like so many assists right now, but my teammates suck, dude. Oh, assist. Dude, Gibson is so... Why do I have the worst teammates of my entire life, dude? I'd rather play with last year's Warriors. Oh, you'll make it there. Gibson, you'll make it there, but you won't make it whenever I pass to you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I guess I'm playing a one-on-nine -on game where just no one wants to help, man. That's sick. Oh, give me that ball. Pass, but he catches the ball. And he scores. Bad pass. Like, this game doesn't make any sense, guys. How is that a bad pass, but he makes it in? I gave him the ball right next to him. He goes in and gets a layup. But they're like, no, no, no. That's a bad pass. That's not an educated pass. All right, we're losing by 20 here. We might as well just try to get the stock up a little bit because we've been getting absolutely fucking screwed good shot we'll take it come on yes we made it in let's go okay, if we can get to like a b dude at this point let's get to a b and let's just stick at it i'm so i'm getting so pissed dude i'm getting so mad like this game's weird like i don't, I don't know i'm getting like bad vibes from it here we go. Okay, that was another risky assist, dude. But, like, it, it's just because Gibson keeps freaking running away. Let's go. Make another one. A little fast break score in there. Oh, there we go. Patterson, just put it up. Let's go. We get another assist, baby. We, we're so close to a B right now. We just have to keep playing good. Oh, McDaniel. 
Amazing. Horrible shot. I hope he. I honestly hope he gets undrafted, dude. Jeez, he's been trash today. Give me the ball. I'm open, Patterson. Jeez. There you go. Oh, it does not want to give me this B, dude. Come on, that was so fucking crap. No. Yeah, there's no way. Heck no. Okay, we got another good shot. Don't care about the skill points. All right, our ball. We're gonna lose this game at a B. And we've had we have a pretty good stat line. Not gonna lie, we actually have a pretty good one. I didn't actually play too bad. Had a minute to maybe get a B plus here. It's gonna be kind of difficult, but we can try. And we make that in too. Okay, we're kind of killing it with the jump shot. I've really gotten used to this jumper. Turner, and that's another assist. All right, we've raised it up quite well. Oh, that would have been sick if we would have made that. All right, you know what? Pretty good stat line. I should have honestly shot a bit more because I was actually killing it. But hey, a B, almost B plus. Like, I think we might have impressed some teams out there. All right, performance, good. Uh, we did lose, though. So we got 720 skill points. Teammate grade was a B. All right. Yeah, if we look at the box score here, Patterson had 18 points, six rebounds, three blocks, was three, six for nine. I was eight for 18. So actually didn't do too bad. One for three from three. I had a lot of great looks, so I was just taking shots. 17 points, a rebound, five assists, and a steal. Uh, only had one turnover, though. I uh, made a few mistakes here and there. Uh, I could have actually had like an A minus or something, but I'm actually happy with almost a B plus. Gibson had 12, Martin had 10, uh, and then on the other side here, like they just had a lot of studs on this team. But I guess it's time to find out what happens now. What is going to happen are we going to get some interviews where are we going to get drafted to let's find out oh greetings i'm the gm and director of player personnel for the rockets in addition to the 14th pick we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks we'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions let's get to it as a younger team i feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you i'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work how many other teams can offer you that that being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Oh man, I don't know. I don't want to go to a team like this. I really, really, really don't. Um, it's going to be tough. Like if I'm going to be honest, yeah, it's going to be tough. I don't want to go to a rebuilding team. I don't want to say I'm patient because I feel like if I do, there's a chance that they're going to draft me. Uh, so I'm just going to say, yeah, it's going to be tough uh, because it'll be a lot harder for me to go to the finals with like Kevin Martin, Luis Scola, stuff like that, especially now that Yao Ming is gone. Uh, so that will be my answer. I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. I know I would have my man Kevin Martin there to help carry the load. Not really what I would say, but sure. Interesting. Next question. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? Uh, honestly, a winning attitude. Like, I want to win so bad. I want to win another championship. We beat the Heat on the on a Warriors team. Uh, so if I was in Houston, um, just a winning attitude. Like, we go out there and we just do what we need to do uh, and go out there and try to win. You know, I don't want to tank. I don't want to rebuild. But, yeah, a winning attitude. I think that's really for you guys to decide. What I'd bring to your franchise is my basketball skills and a winning attitude. Anything beyond that, that's really for your team to sort out. I like to stay focused solely on the game. Not really at all what I said, but sure. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the director of player personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you'd fit in with what we do here. I really think the first piece to getting this franchise back on track is to find and develop our point guard of the future. The point is the one position that can really make or break a team and change the overall direction of the franchise. Looking back at the Hornets, look at what Chris Paul did for that team. We want a point guard who will do the same for us, and we think you might be that guy. Convince us of that. Did I say I grew up a Jazz fan? I, honestly, I really do want to play for the Jazz. Now that I'm thinking about it, like the team up of Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson would be disgusting there. I think that'd be fantastic to play there. Um, honestly, I grew up a Jazz fan. 
I, I, I think just to sway them a little bit, because I don't want to say that's a lot of pressure. I don't want to say I don't want to play here. I want to play for the Jazz. Uh, let, I grew up a Jazz fan. All right, well, I grew up a fan of the Jazz. I got to see the tail end of Malone and Stockton's career, and wow, who better to model your career after than those guys? I see myself playing in the mold of Stockton. I want to be that leader that the fans adore, and I want to do it right here in Utah. I agree with that. I agree with that. All right, then. One more. We realize that here in Utah, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Utah Jazz. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Utah Jazz. Are you that person? I believe so. Like, the reason why I left Sacramento is because they just didn't have the pieces for me. Um, but here in Utah, you know, you've got two big men that can just body the paint, which is something I've been needing for a while. You got Kirilenko that can hit the three, a better small forward than what I had to deal with with Reggie. Um, and even like if it's Utah, like I went to Golden State, it's not Los Angeles, but yeah, of course I am. I would love to play for the Jazz. I would be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a great fan base in Salt Lake City. I'd love to lead this team for the next decade. Love it. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. Good game out there tonight, son. I'm the GM of the 76ers, and I must say I was impressed with your performance. We have the 16th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, real quick, if you don't mind. We already have some good guards on our roster in Drew Holiday and Evan Turner. Where do you see yourself fitting in with those guys? Uh, I don't. I just don't think I'm a fit for Philly. I don't want to be mean, but I also don't want to go here. Like, I, it would be cool to play with Andre Iguodala, but I just don't think I'm a fit here in Philly. So, could I say I'm just not a fit here in Philly? Because I, I, I really don't. Like, there's no fit for me there. So, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm not a fit. I, I hate to be mean. Look, I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice guards on the roster, guys that would cut into my playing time. Hmm. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best used, and I'm sorry, but that's not Philly. 100% agree with that. Okay, last question. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out of the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Dude, I just told you i'm not a fit for philly i just told you i'm gonna tell you that again i'm not a fit for philly mm, philly really isn't the place for me man i don't want to feel like i'm constantly being judged by every on-court and off-court action that i make i'm a private person and that life is just not for me you know i appreciate your honesty answering my questions best of luck to you in the draft all right it's nba draft time i'm hoping i go to utah houston would be okay but utah from what I'm looking at is where I want to go. It looks like the 76ers, I made them uninterested. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, uh, we're projected mock draft. Okay, so we're projected to go to the Rockets. Where is Utah? Utah is the 12th pick. Okay, please, Utah, I'm begging you here. Please, oh please, oh please take me in this draft. I really want to go to Utah. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA draft. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world. A reward for their many years of dedication and hard work. It's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement for our fans and our teams. For those of you watching on television in more than 200 countries and territories. And of course to all of our wonderful fans right here. Thank you for joining us. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight can't wait to compete against the best basketball players in the world. So let's get started. All right, guys, here we go. 11th pick, the Warriors are up. Imagine With if they the take me. They're not going the to, I don't think. With the 2011 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select George Turner from the University of Oklahoma. All right, they pass on me. All right, Jazz, please, Jazz, I'm begging you, please take me. Please take me, please. NBA draft, please. The Utah Jazz select the 19 year old point guard from the University Let's of Let's go! Texas. We're going exactly where I wanted to go. The Utah Jazz, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to Utah to go and play next to Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson. Let's freaking 
go, dude. All right, we are in Utah. Utah Jazz contract offer. Uh, we need to. We need you to provide valuable minutes off the bench. Uh, this maximum. This is the maximum amount we can offer based on where you were drafted. Okay, so two year. Ah, oh, that is uh, really. Yeah. <laughs> It is non negotiable. When this one expires, you'll be negotiating for every dollar. Sounds good to me. We are going to play in Utah, in the Salt Lake City, ladies and gentlemen. Matty, I can't ex begin to tell you how excited we are. You are part of this team. We started a new ad campaign on the billboards around town, completely centered around your arrival. Let me know what you think. Okay, I gotta see it. Oh, look at that, Matty Ice in the Utah Jazz jersey. The future has arrived. That's sick, dude. That's fucking sick. Look at that. My man is a Utah Jazz. Our journey has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. Our journey has just begun. And here we go. Oh, account balance. Whoa, what is this? Oh, look at Matty Ice in the Utah Jazz jersey. The next payday is 14 days away. Whoa, what is this? Then so we got some drills, some skill points in there. Oh, there's the Rockets who were going to take me. I literally went exactly where the heck I wanted to go. This is the exact team. Whenever those three teams came up, Utah was the team I wanted to go to for sure. For freaking sure. I really, really, really wanted to go to this team. Uh, when it came down to those three teams, and man, we got the exact team that I was looking for. Now, let's look at the roster. Oh my gosh, Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap here, and then Kirilenko, Derek Favors. Okay, okay. I'm actually really excited to go here, because now I actually have two good big men that I can feed the ball and get assists. And then if I can become like a superstar on this team, like might be set. We might be set. So like if we look at the rotation right now, eventually I'll be taking over, but it looks like it's going to be uh, eventually me, Bell, Kirilenko, Paul Millsap, and Al Jefferson. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Well, you guys don't miss any of the videos I post. So De'Aaron Williams went to the Nets, and the Jazz have now taken me to kind of fill his shoes and team up with Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson. Like, I think, honestly, you know, it's not flashy like Los Angeles. You know, it's not flashy like New York. But honestly, we could make a big three here and be pretty dominant, I believe. The only big man I had that was good was David Lee, and he wasn't the best. And now we get Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap in the paint. So hopefully those guys can be good for me. Uh, to get assist in. Maybe they can body some people. Uh, I'll, I'll have to rely on the shooting. Kirilenko also has some range on him and is going to be a lot better than Reggie. So I'm actually really excited to play with this team. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think of this team up? Do you guys think that it's a good big three eventually? Or do you guys think, you know, we could do something here? You never quite know. You never quite know. But again, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later.